All right, in this video, we're gonna be doing a coding challenge. We're gonna be tackling a problem which is as simple as it gets. If you get this, let's say you're taking an interview and you get this coding challenge, you should consider yourself really, really lucky, all right? It's a very simple problem, it's called FizzBuzz. Um, it's almost, it's, it's a very popular coding challenge as well. It's almost like a joke problem because of how simple it is. It should take like around three minutes to solve. Um, a friend of mine conducts a lot of uh, Java coding interviews and uh, he actually uses this problem. He actually asks this question to people he's interviewing. And uh, I actually asked him like, why do you do this? Why do you ask something that's so basic? And he tells me that it's actually surprising how many people claim to have uh, many, many years of experience coding and they cannot solve this simple problem, right? So we're gonna take a look at this problem and make sure that we can all solve this, right? Should, again, like I said, it should take very little time. Uh, we're gonna break this down from the problem to like a high level pseudocode and we actually gonna write code and then run it to make sure it works. Okay, so let's start with looking at what the problem is. Here is um, the hacker rank page, which talks about the problem then you can actually use your favorite search engine and get like a thousand results. It's all over the internet. This is a very, very popular problem, like I said. Uh, so let's read through this. Write a short program that prints each number from one to 100 in a new line. This itself is a very, very simple problem, right? Just print one to 100, I'm assuming you have to use a loop there and then loop through those numbers and then print them in a new line. However, there are a few rules here. For each multiple of three, you should print fizz instead of the number. If the number that you're printing happens to be a multiple of three, print the string fizz. If the number you're printing happens to be a multiple of five, print the string buzz. And for numbers that are multiples of both three and five, you print the string fizz buzz instead of the number. And if none of these three conditions apply to the number, you just print the number itself, right? It's, it's as simple as that. So you basically go one, two, fizz, four, buzz, six, seven, and then you reach 14, fizz, buzz, 16, so on, right? It's, it's a fairly simple problem. So if you're gonna be writing some pseudocode to make sure we have the right approach and then quickly translating that to the code. What would your approach be in pseudocode? So you're gonna be tackling, of course, this problem says one to 100, but let's make it one to N. So N is something that somebody passes in and you wanna print numbers from one to N and then use these rules to print those numbers, all right? So let's start with, I'm gonna do one to N to n and then um, you obviously need a loop right you need to loop from 1 to n so I'm going to say for i equals 1 to n uh, I need to check for these rules right so I'm gonna check first if uh, the number that i contains at any point of time if it's a multiple of three if it's a multiple of three then I need to print the string fizz how do I check if a number is a multiple of three we've got a modulo operator so I just check if i modulo 3 is equal to zero. So that's gonna be our first F here. If i modulo three is equal to zero, I need to print the string fizz. If i modulo five is equal to zero, I need to print the string buzz. And finally, if i modulo three is equal to zero and i modulo five is equal to zero, then I print the string fizzbuzz. And if neither of those three conditions apply, then I print i. This makes sense? Is this working? Is this valid? Do you see any issues with this algorithm? You can pause the video to see if you can find something. There's one issue which is glaringly obvious. It is that there are certain cases where more than one if block is evaluated to true and things happen. The obvious case is if i is a multiple of both three and five, right? If, it's, if i is a multiple of just three, then the first if block evaluates to true and it prints fizz. If i is a multiple of just five, the second if block evaluates to true and then it prints buzz. But if i is a multiple of both three and five, what's the if block that evaluates to true? So all three of them. So you're gonna print fizz, buzz, fizzbuzz, which is not what we want. We wanna print just fizzbuzz if it's a multiple of three and five. So the obvious solution is, well, you're gonna move the if block to the top. So you first check if it's a multiple of both. In that case, you print fizzbuzz, and then you add an else here. Else, if i is a multiple of just three, then you print fizz. Else, if i is a multiple of just five, you print buzz. All right, so this is our high level algorithm. So we're gonna be writing code for this to make sure that that is actually uh, something that works. So I'm going to switch to my Eclipse IDE here. I have a simple Java project and I have one Java class called uh, challenge01 fizzbug, all right? So it has a main method. 
which doesn't do anything. Now let's say I want to call this uh, method. I'm going to create a new method and uh, public static print fizzbuzz and uh, let's say this returns a void and an accept an argument which is the number of numbers that it has to print which is the n right so what i'm going to do here is for and i equals zero less than n i need to have a bunch of conditions however notice i went with muscle memory and did i equals zero it should actually be i equals one and i less than or equal to n because you're going to be printing numbers from 1 to n so it's i less than or equal to n starts with 1. now what do i need to do here i need to check if i modulo 3 and i modulo 5 is equal to 0 so i'm going to do equals 0 and i modulo 5 equals 0 this in parentheses I need to first bus. Then I have an else condition here. If it's just a modulo three, if I is divisible just by three, I am going to print fizz. And then if I is divisible by just five, I'm going to print buzz and then the final else here of course it should be else if final else here i'm going to do a print ln of i now i'm going to call this bus of uh, let's say 100 all right let's execute this to make sure this works fine i'm gonna run as java application and uh here you see it seems to be working fine three four five six all right seems to be fine so this is our simple naive solution all right so that's a very quick solution to fizzbuzz one of the most asked interview questions in coding and also unfortunately one of the interview questions that most people get wrong so even if you had like a minuscule chance of getting this wrong hopefully this video has cleared it up thanks for watching